I can choose to know the name of people's parents or the age. I prefer to know the parent's name. Sis, can I borrow your hairbrush? Yeah, sure. Here. Thank you. Huh? Why is your dad's name different than mine? Are we supposed to be siblings? What do you mean? Psst, Amara, please give me the answer to question three. Sir, Sarah's asking me for test answers. No, sir, she's the one who wants to cheat. I trust Sarah more because she's smarter than you. Therefore, I'm giving you a zero. You're on only the test. doing that because she's your daughter, right? Wait, what? I haven't checked my parents' name yet. Huh? How come both of them are boy names? I have to ask my mom. Mom, you have to tell me the truth. Who are you? Oh my gosh, how did you find out? We have to tell her the truth. So first, your mom was... Honey, you took my blush. Mom, I, uh... Wait! Before speaking, you need to know that it's very important that you never lie. Because when you lie, you'll forget all memory of the person you're lying to. Yes, okay, mom. You caught me. I'll be right back, honey. I'm just gonna get some milk. Okay, dad, bye! Huh? Little girl, what are you doing in my house? Go to your house now! You don't remember me? Come on, leave now! Go back to your house! Dad lied. Okay, I'm going to my house. Bye, mom. I'm going to school. You need to give me the money. I can't pay for everything myself. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to your dad. Dad? But I never had a dad. Anyways, I'm going to go to school. Bye. And your mom told you that? Yeah, she told me she was speaking with my dad. Attention, everyone. I want you to meet our new director, Mr. Steve. Hello. It's so nice to finally meet her in person. What color did I get on my lips? I'm curious. Huh? Pale? Why are my lips pale, mom? That means you don't have a soulmate, honey. I don't have a soulmate? That means I'm never gonna get married. Calm down. You can just pretend with this lipstick. Here, use it. Okay. Does it look real? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go to school now. Hi, guys. What color are your lips? Yellow, which means my soulmate's cruel. Mine's red, which means my soulmate's perfect. I also got red. I can't wait to meet my soulmate. Calm down. We haven't went through any obstacles yet. What do you mean? You'll see. I have to reapply my lipstick. It's starting to fade away. What are you doing? This is strictly forbidden. It can cover the true color that we received on our lips today. Hey, let me throw it away for you. No, don't. My lips are too pale. So you faked your color? Shh. Don't tell anyone. Oh, your lip color looks really good, Amara. Yes, it really does. My lips are naturally red. But you're in class. You're required to wear a mask. Class, those of you who didn't bring a mask, please take one off my table. What if my lipstick comes off with this mask? Everyone's going to know that I'm lying. Put on the mask. Okay, sir. Psst, you have to go to the bathroom and put on this lipstick. But what's the difference between this one and the one I was wearing earlier? This one's permanent, so it won't come off with the mask. That's great. Thank you so much. Sir, can I go to the bathroom? Oh my gosh, why does this look weird? But, oh well, if it's permanent, then no one's gonna know that I'm lying. Let's hope this works. Why does my lips feel weird out of a sudden? Okay, class is over. It's time for you to take your masks off. I really hope that lipstick was permanent. Amara, take off your mask. Okay, sir. Amara, please take off your mask. Okay, sir. I'm so dead. Whoa, your lips are so red. This means your soulmate's perfect. I'm proud to have a student like you in my class. Thank God he didn't find out I faked my lip color. Thank you so much. You saved me from getting caught by the teacher and now I finally have a lip color. Of course, we always help each other out, right? Yeah, but how come you never show your lip color to anyone? Um, I'm a bit hungry. Do you want to get food from the cafeteria? Why is she changing the subject? Amara, I bought you a drink. Please come on a date with me. I'll take you to a restaurant. Hey, I bought you a teddy bear. Wait, wait, why are all the boys being so nice to me? It's because of your lip color. They all want to be your soulmate because your soulmate's perfect. I can't believe so many people have a crush on me. Actually, I still don't believe your lip color is original. What else do I have to do to prove it, sir? Try wiping your lips with this tissue. Why is it so wet and smelly? Just do it. Okay. See, nothing came off. I told you I didn't fake it. This means your lips are real. I'm amazed. Don't you feel there's something strange about the teacher's behavior? No, why are you so suspicious of him? He's just acting weird. Don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna go look for my soulmate. Bye!
Amara, wait, your lips, they changed color. What? Oh gosh, why are they black? I don't think you should meet your soulmate. Why not? You'll be in danger because... What vote is that, Dad? Today, everyone will vote for you, depending on if they think you're beautiful or ugly. If everyone considers you ugly, you'll be killed. Don't worry, I'll help you with your first vote. Mom, you're gonna vote beautiful, right? I'm not your mom, I'm your stepmother, and no, I'm not gonna vote that. Because your face reminds me of your mom, and she was ugly. Lucy, if you vote beautiful for me, I'll do the same for you. <laughs> you really think I'm gonna vote beautiful? I'm voting ugly. I want you to die so that I can take your boyfriend. Grandma, help me. I don't want to die. Everyone's voting ugly. Okay, honey, be patient. Sometimes life is unfair, even though we do good for others. But don't worry, I'll vote beautiful, okay? Thank you, Grandma. Guys, whoever votes ugly for Amara, I'll give them a hundred pounds. Wow, okay. I voted. Give me the money. Why are you doing this to me? Why are people mean to me when I'm always nice to them? I'm gonna start being mean too. Amara, don't be mean. It's not all about how you look on the outside. The inside counts too, and you have a very good heart, so I'm voting beautiful. Besides, yesterday, someone told me that you helped some orphans. Thank you very much. Hey babe, since I'm your girlfriend, can you vote beautiful for me? No, I'm bored of you. If you die, that means I can have a new girlfriend. A new girlfriend? Yes, I've been wanting to break up with you for the longest time. My dad was right. I should have listened to him and left that guy a long time ago. This is my last chance. Sis, please vote beautiful for me. You don't want to lose me, do you? Actually, if you disappear, dad will love me more. So I'm voting ugly. No! What did you just do? Bye, sis. Huh? Choose between 100 million or know everything? Of course, the money. Amara, your boyfriend's waiting outside. Look what you've done. Oh, no. Amara, how much is 3,000 times 780? Um, I don't know. 2,240,000. Yeah, that's right. Well done. That's weird. I didn't even mean it. My mouth just spoke by itself. Amara, I need to tell you something. Last night... Luca slept at your house and you two were studying in your room? Yeah, how did you know that? Because I know everything. Class, we're gonna have a sudden exam. Whoever finishes first wins a prize. The answer to question 1 is B, the answer to question 2 is A, and the answer to question 25 is D. How did you know the answers? Did you look at my notes? No, I just guessed it. Now, can I have my prize? Hey, anyone want to buy some lottery tickets? Yes, can I have number 2, 8, 14, and 16? No way, I won! Mom, we're gonna be rich! Police, open up! What's my future salary? 50 million? That's a lot! I better put it on private so that my friends don't use me. How much is your salary, honey? 20 pounds. 20 pounds? That's so little. What a shame. I'm paying so much for your school for no reason. It's not for no reason. I'm still learning. I don't want to pay your school fees anymore. Hey, Em, what are you doing? Hey, I'm planning what house I'm buying in the future because my salary is 200,000. Whoa, that's a lot. How much is your salary, Amara? Why um, is it on private? 20 pounds. Huh? That's so little. I knew I was much smarter than you. Hey, don't be arrogant. Hi, guys. What's your salaries? Mine's 40,000. Mine's 12,000. Mine's 110,000. What about yours? 20 pounds. Huh? Seriously? You might as well just quit school then. Yeah, you're just wasting your time. Why are you guys so rude? Class, please choose a group you want to work with on the new project. Okay, sir. Hi guys, can I join your group? You're really asking that? Of course not. Those whose salary is below 10,000 can't join our group. But you don't know how much my salary is. It's on private. Amara, come on. Everyone in school knows that your salary is 20 pounds. Just buy candy with it or something. That's if you can afford it. So, why does it say that I got grade C on my paper? It should say B on here. I heard your future salary is 20 pounds, but how come your grades are so good? I don't know, but can you change it back to B? Sorry, I can't, Amara. Everyone's going to think that I've given you a fake grade. Everyone's so mean. I wonder what they will say once they find out my future salary is much higher than theirs. I wonder what they'll say once they find out my future salary is much higher than theirs. What? Why isn't it working? See, I told you you were lying. Otherwise, you'd be able to put your salary on public. 
Why isn't it working? I want to prove everyone wrong and let the teacher give me the grade I deserve. Why are you here, Amara? I'm not going to change your grade. But sir, my salary is 50 million. That's a lie. If it was 50 million, why is it on private? I'm not lying, I promise. Just get out, Amara. Why do you look so sad? It's nothing. I've just had a bad day. I know what will make you happy. Here, have some candy. Grandma, I'm not a kid anymore. Just trust me and eat it. Okay, thank you. I really hope this candy isn't expired. Hmm, it's good. Wait, what? How did it just change to public? I hope I'll get a nice hairstyle. Two ponytails? If I accept, all my friends are going to make fun of me because I look like a little girl. It's okay, honey. It's a trend now. No, mom, it's not. I'm going to refuse it. Look how pretty my hair is. Yeah, it looks really good. I wish I got that hairstyle. Where is your hairstyle? You didn't get one? I did, but I rejected it. You should pick a unique one so your soulmate can find you. Yeah, I'm going to accept the next choice I get. I chose a half up, half down ponytail. I chose a bun. You guys are lucky. Don't worry, just keep refusing until you get a good one. Yeah, I did that as well and it worked. Wow, then I have a better chance of getting a good hairstyle. I hope this time they'll give me a good hairstyle, which is better than my friends. Huh? Bold hairstyle? That means I'm not gonna have any hair. Why would they even give me this choice? It's okay, honey. Just accept it. Your hair will grow healthier. I don't want to, mom. You should be thankful and stop I'm being I'm not picky. being picky. I'm gonna refuse it. I'm worried about you. You haven't picked a hairstyle yet. You have to quickly pick one so you can marry your soulmate. Calm down. I still have time. Hopefully, they'll give me a hairstyle this time that I like because I'm so tired of this. Huh? A bob cut? Not happening. I'm not cutting my hair. Sis, there's an old man staring at you. You have to pick a hairstyle quickly so you can get married and no one will stare at you anymore. No, I'm refusing it. I can't believe I still haven't gotten the hairstyle I want. I heard that if you get two braids, you're a special person. What do you mean a special person? You'll get treated like a queen with that hairstyle. Gosh, you still haven't picked? How many times have you refused? Three times. But you only get three chances. Now you'll never meet your soulmate. Calm down. Special people get to choose four times. And I'm sure I'm going to get to choose again. But you're not special. Yes, I am. Just watch. They'll give me another choice. I really hope so. I'm starting to get a bit worried. What if they don't give me another choice? Yes, I knew it. They're giving me another choice. Okay, hopefully this time they'll give me braids. Huh? Two braids? I managed to get the special hair! Don't accept it because... It's okay. This hairstyle is profitable. I don't want to waste this opportunity, so I'm going to accept it. I can know the subject or class. You'll be going to a new school soon, so you'll have to choose what's useful for you. But if I'm in school, I straight away know the class, so I'm going to pick subject. Are you sure about your choice? Yes, ma'am. I chose to know the class. Yeah, I don't think anyone chooses to know the subject. It's good for nothing. I chose subject. What? Those who chose subject will be Claire's maid. Maid? But I'm smart. Why would they make me her maid? Hey, Emily, what did you choose to know? Obviously class, didn't you? Um, no, I chose to know the subject. Huh? From now on, I can't be friends with you anymore. Why not? I don't want to be friends with Claire's maid. This is all your fault, so don't contact me anymore. Babe, you have to teach me the subject too, yeah? Babe, since when were we dating? Since the moment you chose to know the subject. So you just want to use me? Not happening. Did you just reject the most handsome boy in school? I have a present for you. I want to take you out to eat. I'll pay. Shh, Amara's mine. Don't talk to her. What do you mean? When we finish school, you have to come to my house. Sa said, if you bring a book that doesn't match the subject... You'll be killed by the ghost of a teacher who used to be in the school. And you believe that? Yes, so many people have gone missing because they brought the wrong book to school. Amara, tomorrow you have to tell me what book to bring to school, okay? No, why should I tell you? Because you're my maid and did you forget I'm the president's daughter? There will be consequences if you don't tell me. Okay, I'll tell you. Mom, apparently I'm Claire's maid now because I'm the only one who can see tomorrow's subject. What? Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Claire's the daughter of the president. You have to respect her and listen to her. Here, take this bag. Make sure everything she needs is in this bag. 
Wait, so you think it's right that I'm her maid? Yes, you should be proud. She's the president's daughter. You can see tomorrow's subject, right? Yes, sir. Why? The lives of your friends are now in your hands. You have to tell them. So they don't disappear like the others. Yes, sir. I understand. Today's lesson is maths. Why didn't you call me this morning? Hurry up and tell me today's subject so I can bring the right book to class. Oh yeah, today's lesson is... English. I can see someone's last drink or last meal. I think their last meal is more interesting. Mom, I'm gonna eat quickly before going to school. Oh my gosh, you ate a cockroach? Yeah, I wanted to try it. I learned how to fry it online. Do you want to try some? No, thank you. I'm going to school. Bye. Wait, before you go, here, take a couple with you so you can eat them at lunch. Whatever, Mom. Thanks. It turns out all my friends are healthy because they eat vegetables all the time. Amara, what's that in your lunchbox? What kind of food is that? It looks delicious. The fried cockroaches. Do you want to try some? Sure, I've never had them before. I heard they're really good. Thank you for sharing your lunch. You're usually very stingy. I feel bad for you because you eat vegetables all the time. How do you know that I eat vegetables? Because I can see people's last meal. If that's true, can you check my last meal? Chicken liver? Gosh, you're right. But please don't tell anyone I have this power. I feel like everyone who ate your cockroach yesterday is gone. Huh? Gone? How? They didn't come to school today. Who made that cockroach? My mom, but it's impossible that she would poison my lunch. The teacher now suspects you. Luckily, I didn't try your lunch yesterday, so I'm saved. You wanted to see me, sir? Aria said you can see someone's last meal, right? But I told her not to tell anyone. Is that true, Amara? Yes, sir. Meet me at the school warehouse at 3 this afternoon. I wonder why he wants me to meet him at that exact time. Okay, sir. Why does it smell so rotten in here? You should see their last meal. Huh? Them? That's my friends who didn't show up to school today. Why do they look so pale? Everyone who ate your cockroach died. One of them, as you know, is the president's daughter. There's no way. I guarantee you my lunch wasn't poisoned. I need you to please look at their last meal. Huh? Why can't I see it? The last meal isn't appearing, sir. Okay, I'll give you three hours. If you can't prove it, you'll be found guilty and will be punished. Buy these glasses, please. They're cheap. No, thanks. I don't want to buy any glasses. But they have a great power. You won't regret it. Great power? Okay, who knows? Maybe they can help me. I'll take them. You're here, which means you can see people's last meals, right? I'll try, sir. This is your last chance. Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Okay, I'll put on these glasses first. So, what's the last meal? Gosh, so they really did die because of the lunch I gave them. Hello, answer me. Um, it wasn't because of me, sir. The last meal was chicken soup. Okay, now keep this a secret from everyone. So, I'm not in trouble, right, sir? No, but please keep this a secret. Yes, of course. Where did you just come from, Amara? I was just walking around the school. I'm really starting to get worried about our friends. Do you think something bad happened to them? No, I don't think so. Honey, you're back from school. Let's have lunch. I just cooked. What's our lunch this time? Cockroaches. Why? I don't know if I should eat it, but I need to find out if the reason my friends died was because of them. You don't want to eat the food? Yes, I, I do, Mom. Well, it tastes really good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Why didn't anything happen? I'll get it. Hey, I brought you a bag filled food. You did? I don't think I can accept this, sir. If you don't, I'll reduce your grades. Okay, I'll accept it. Why is he forcing me to take this? This is so weird. I have to find out who was responsible for what happened at school yesterday. Amara, you're finally here. Huh, Stephanie? How are you still alive? Am I in heaven? I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. So you faked your death? Yes. I'm still alive and we all need your help to avoid the teacher. Wait, so you faked your death? Yes, because... Because we wanted to save Sarah. I think she really died because she got poisoned. So you didn't die because of the lunch I gave you? No, in fact, I went to your house to ask for more food because it was so delicious. Hey, who's there? Shoot, we have to go. 
Thank God we got out before him seeing us. How are we supposed to save Sarah? She's the president's daughter. If he finds out she got poisoned, no one knows what he's gonna do. You think she died because she got poisoned, right? Yes. I have to see her last meal. That's the only way I can find out. Let's go back in there. Oh yeah, I have to use these glasses first. What's her last meal, Amara? What? What's wrong? It looks like she's eating a lot of different things. But these foods are the same as our teacher and Elisa's foods. Okay, you know what to do, right? Hey, Amara, don't you stay in that school for this long? I should be asking you this question. You don't have any relationship with our teacher, do you? Me? No. Why do you ask? Because you two always eat the same meals. Are you really suspecting me right now? I thought you were better than this. I feel so sleepy, Mom. Amara, where have you been? It's so late. I was out with friends. Hurry up and go to bed. You have school tomorrow. What food are you making tomorrow? I'm making steak. Yes! Mom, I'm going to school. Honey, there's no school today. Just stay at home and help me clean. No school? Why? I saw the announcement on TV that the president's daughter is dead. Oh no, they found out. Why did she die? I don't know, but two of your friends got arrested because they suspect that they killed her. You mean Emma and Lily? I have to go. Quickly look for Stephanie's heart. Her heart wasn't found? No, it was stolen by someone. Sir, did you? Shh, if you report me to the police, you'll regret it. Make sure you keep it a secret. Alyssa, you have to help me. Help you with what? You ate Stephanie's heart too? I've been waiting for this moment. Me and our teacher both wanted her dead because she's a spoiled brat. What's wrong with you? You've changed so much. I'm going to tell the police. You don't have any proof. Excuse me, miss. Why are you here? We're doing an investigation. I know who killed Stephanie. It was Alyssa and my teacher. I have a recording of them both confessing. I can't believe this. This is all the evidence we need. Thank you so much. You're amazing. How much can I drink today? Huh? Only one cup? That's not even enough. I'm going to be thirsty all day. You have a whole cup filled with water. Why are you taking tiny sips? Because my allowance is only one cup today. What? A whole family gets 10 liters per day. Why are you different? I don't know. Don't worry. I'll find a way so you can increase your drinking allowance. Thanks, mom. I have to be careful with how much I drink today. Amara, why are you wearing those clothes? Why? What else would I wear? Sport clothes. We have to run. The teacher run? told us. I can't join you because I can only drink one cup of water today. But it's an important test. You have to come. Huh? Sir, are we really having a running test? Yes, because the school wants to kick out any student who's considered weak. So, for example, the ones who only get to drink little per day. But why, sir? Because our school wants to be known for having strong athletic students, not weak ones. I only have half a cup left. I'm not going to drink again until after the run. Are you sure you'll be able to do it? Yeah, how much can you drink today? Five liters. Everyone gets five liters. I don't know why you're different. I feel so isolated. You have to be able to run 10 kilometers. Luckily, I can drink a lot of water. Yeah, we have to keep drinking so we get a lot of energy. Okay, I've drank a whole bottle of water. I think it's enough now. Amara, do you think you'll be able to hold your thirst? Yeah, I think so. I should be fine. Okay, everyone, get ready. The running test will start in three, two, one. I'm so thirsty and tired. Amara, we only have one kilometer left. I feel really weak. I have to drink now. Um, that means you can't drink anymore for today, right? I hope you can survive this, Amara. I can't anymore. I have to rest. Why don't you run? We're having an exam. I just took a little break. You have to go back before anyone realizes. You'll get kicked out of Why the school. Why did you bring so many drinks with you? Can I have one? No, Amara, you shouldn't. Finally, I'm not thirsty anymore. Wait, but the water you just drank is actually... 
Huh? I only have one diamond? That's so little. Don't complain. I got minus two. At least you got one. I guess I'm gonna have to choose to marry a rich man. Although I wanted to be single, but I only have one diamond. Hello, I'm gonna be taking care of your wedding with Mr. Liam. Where did you come from? Liam hired me. He said he can't wait for you to be his can't wife. Can't wait? How old is this guy? Relax, he's 21. 21? He's younger than me. I don't want to marry someone younger than me. It's too late now. You can't cancel the wedding. How are you expecting me to sign this contract without even knowing what he looks like? Mr. Liam requested this and he also wants it to be a secret. That's so weird. What if he's a criminal? Don't worry. I guarantee you he's not a bad person. Now let's sign the agreement. Okay. 10 million? Why don't I have enough diamonds? Now I have to pick the stupid black card. I'm just gonna throw it away. It's useless. Are you crazy? Why would you throw that card away? You can use it to buy anything in this world. Didn't you know that? Wait, really? I'm almost late. Excuse me, your card fell on the floor. Oh, yes, thank you. By the way, since you helped me find this card, do you want to have coffee somewhere? Yeah, sure. Thank you for inviting me, by the way. Before I leave, can I get your Instagram? Yes. I mean... Sorry, I can't. I don't have enough diamonds. It's okay. I can give you mine and you can just follow me. That's a really good idea. I'm so glad I met this guy. He's so handsome. Amara, come downstairs. Your future husband's here to see you. Future husband? Oh yeah, I'm gonna get married soon, but I don't want to marry Liam. I want to marry the guy from the coffee shop. Huh? This means I can run away from this marriage. Yes! White flower or red flower? This is the first time I've seen a red flower, so I'm gonna pick it. Honey, pick the white flower, please. But why? Our whole house is filled with white flowers. I'm kind of bored of seeing them. Our family really respects white flowers, so you can't choose anything else. Okay. Wait, don't open the plastic. Why not? Because of the smell of the flower. But I'm really curious how it smells like. No, the flower has no smell, so it's useless if you open it. Okay. Hello everyone, what flower did you pick? We all got red flowers, didn't you? No, I chose white because my mom told me to. Huh, you chose? Didn't you get it straight away? No, I got two options between white and red. You must be special in that case because no one gets to choose. I chose the white flower and it really smells good. Wait, you chose the white flower? That means I wasn't the only one who got a choice. It smells really good, try smell it. Okay. Honey, I told you not to open the plastic. But my friend did and nothing happened. You're different. Kelly? Kelly! Kelly's barely breathing. Call an ambulance. <sighs> yes, sir. Kelly died from inhaling the white flowers. What about Amara? She also has a white flower, but she hasn't died. I haven't smelled the flower yet. My mom doesn't let me. I just noticed this white flower. It smells really good. <sighs> Quickly, throw it away. Why are you acting like that? Wait, I feel dizzy. Are you okay? Amara, you have to throw that flower away now. I'm not allowed. I'm not even allowed to open it. Kelly and Jesse both died from smelling that flower. You don't want anyone else dying, do you? Hey, let me throw it for you. Mom, do you have to come with me to school? I always go alone. I have to come watch you. It turns out you threw away the flower. Yes, because my friend said it's dangerous. I told you you're different. Anyway, I picked up the flower again. Thankfully, it didn't get destroyed. Thanks. All students are expected to gather in the field now. Mom, I have to go. The teacher needs me. There's been a lot of death because of the white flowers. 20 people have died. 20? But how? We have to do a search and see which one of you has the white flower. Sir, my stomach hurts. I need to go to the toilet. Okay, hurry up. Thank God it's safe here. There's something strange about this flower. I have to prove it by smelling it. I'm really curious what it smells like. I'm really curious what it smells like. Why does it stink? Why do people say it smells good? Turns out people are just crazy. Did you smell the flower? What does it smell like? Do you want to smell it? It smells really bad. Yeah, sure. I mean, nothing happened to you, so I'm sure nothing will happen to me. Wow, it smells amazing. Wait, I feel a bit dizzy. Are you okay? Don't tell me she died. Weird. Why do people say it smells good? To me, it smells rotten. Amara, you need to get rid of that flower right now. Why do you keep telling me to get rid of it? Because it's causing danger to others. We need to burn it. Amara, honey, do not talk to that girl anymore. 
Mom, why do you keep following me everywhere? And now he's starting to complain about my friends too? She's your enemy, not your friend, because she chose the red flower. But why are you telling me not to be friends with her specifically? What about the others? Because she's different. That's why I'm moving you from the school, so you don't stay close to her. Don't go close to her. She's like a white flower. Yes, that flower must be destroyed. No, I'll always take care of this flower, and I'm not going to let you destroy it, because it means a lot to my family. Amara, wait for me, please. I was told to keep my distance from you, so go away. Wait, I want to come to your house. To do what exactly? I want to give you a red flower, since I know you want to go. Stop. My mom won't let you come to my house. Then you can come to my house. Um, you said we were going to your house. What is this place? This is where all the white flowers grow. The only way we can get rid of them is if you yourself pluck them all out. Why would I do that? They have a really important meaning to my family. But can't you see how many people are dying because of them? Just do the right thing so that no one else dies. Okay, fine. But after I pluck them all out, what's going to happen? We have to burn them. Finally, all of us can live again. Long live the red flower. You're truly our saviour. Amara, it's important for you to know that because of the white flower, your family was actually rulers of the world. But now, all the white flowers are destroyed and replaced with red flowers, meaning we're all saved. Honesty or lies? What does this mean? Choose lies, because if someone's honest with you, it can hurt your feelings. I don't like being lied to by others, so I choose the honesty leave. Wait, are you sure about this? <sighs> Just calm down, mom. Now I don't need to worry about being lied to by others, because I have this honesty leave. Hey, Amara, actually, I'm forced to be in friends with you. Forced? Why? We've been friends for 10 years. Because I like your brother, but I can't get him. Oh, you should have said it a long time ago. Can you help me? Yes, I can. She's only popular because of her brother. I know, right? Without him, she'd be nothing. Why are you guys speaking about me behind my back? We're only telling the truth because you chose honesty. Yes, but your words hurt. You shouldn't have chosen the honesty leaf then. Should I just throw this leaf away? It's true what my mom said. Words really do hurt. Even if you throw it away, it will still come back to you. You didn't know that? That can't be true. You don't believe me? Hey, give me the leaf. I'm going to throw it. Wait, how did it fly back into my hands? I told you. Why did your brother not come to school today? I don't know, sir. Find out, because you can't keep skipping like this. Okay, sir. Hello, have you seen my brother? To be honest with you, I have no idea where he okay, is. Okay, thank you. I know where your brother is, and I can show you. Okay, I'm sure you're telling the truth, because I'm using this honesty leaf. I'll show you where he is, but only if you speak to him about me. Yeah, sure. He's been standing in front of the school warehouse. What is he doing? I don't know. I asked him and he didn't answer. Okay, with this honesty leave, I should be able to know why he's acting weird. Don't forget to tell me too. Hey, what are you doing here? Are you okay? Hello? So weird. Nothing. I'm not doing anything. Just go home. I'm sure my brother's hiding something, but why isn't my honesty leaf working on him? The leaf will only work if you stick it on his body. That's the only way you can make him tell the truth. Okay, thank you so much. Hello, I have a gift for you. What's this? Now, why don't you tell me what you're really doing here? I hope me and my soulmate can live in a nice planet. Huh? Planet Mars? But it's so small. I want to live in a big planet, so I'm going to refuse. You should be grateful, so just accept it. Because if you refuse... Calm down, Mom. It's my decision, not yours. Hi, guys. Why are you all packing? Where are you going? We're going to live with our soulmates in planet Pluto. What planet are you going to live in, Amara? I still haven't chosen yet, but don't worry, I'll still get other options. Hopefully the second option is better. Earth? Just accept it, honey. That way you don't have to move to a different planet. But mom, I don't want to have a soulmate who lives on Earth. It's too common. You're really picky. You shouldn't get a soulmate because you don't even know where you want to live. Don't worry, mom. I'll pick something soon. I'm about to leave, but I want to know first which planet you're going to move to. I rejected it again because I got Earth and I want to live somewhere else like you guys. Does that mean you only have one chance left? We're only given three options. I'm going to have to take the last one this time. Bye, Amara. I hope you get the planet Pluto like us. I want to get a big and unique planet. Earth is so lonely. I'm so lonely. Hey, Amara, don't you want to move planets like the others? I do. Wait, how come you're still here? My soulmate refused because I wanted to stay on Earth. 
Earlier, my choice was Earth. Please don't tell me he's my soulmate. Why so quiet? It's nothing. I'm really excited about the last choice. Hopefully, I can get a planet that's different from the others. Green or pink? What does this mean, Mom? That color will determine how much your soulmate's salary is, but I've never heard of green. In that case, I'll choose the green. Wait, are you sure you want to be different from the others? Yes, because usually green represents money, right? She got the color green, which is a rare color. I'm so jealous of her. Do you know what green means? It means your soulmate is the number one richest person in the huh? city. Do you know who that person is? No, I don't. I've never seen his face. Guess what? I just found out my soulmate is the richest person in the city. I thought your family was the richest. I thought so too, but turns out there's richer people out there. You have to come with me somewhere. Somewhere? Where do you mean? Meet someone who can give clues about your soulmate. Welcome, my grandchildren. I wanted to ask you about my soulmate. You can find your soulmate in your school. In school? But in school, I'm definitely the richest person. Just listen to her, Amara. It's impossible that she's wrong. Okay, I'll prove that what she's saying is wrong. Everyone, there's a new student in this class. A new student? My name is Justin. Nice to meet you all. He's so handsome. He said he's rich, much richer than you. That means he has to be my soulmate. See, it's true what that old lady said earlier. Hurry up and speak with him before the others. Hi, my name is... Amara, right? The one who claims to be my soulmate? What? That's not true. Who told you that? I also got green like Justin and he trusts me more. There should be only one person who gets green. You guys are disturbing the class. As a punishment, you're going to have to stay after class and clean up this whole place. The one who can clean the fastest is my soulmate. So, this is a competition? This should be really easy for me. I finished earlier than Leah. Who said that? We finished at the same time. What? Don't worry, I've already decided who the winner is, and it's... 